do you spend doing your hair in the morning? There's no such thing as a bad hair, do you? That's what I see. Ah, oh, Val, I thought you hadn't left yet. No, Diane had a change of heart, didn't you, love? Really? So, how long are you planning on staying with us? Oh, a week, maybe two. Three at the most. Three weeks? Well, I said Val could stay till she finds her feet. Well, after last time, I thought you might ask me first. I mean, whatever happened to making joint decisions around here? Oh, don't worry, she'll pay away. Val's gonna work for us while she's here. Sorry, Di. I can't quite see myself behind the bar. Oh, don't worry, Val. I wouldn't dream of asking you to be a barmaid. <laughs> Just the usual, please, Viv. One bacon and sausage roll coming up. I hate to think about your cholesterol level. Yeah, well, one greasy sandwich ain't gonna ruin this athletic appearance, is it? What do you think? <laughs> Mission accomplished. Wasn't even a challenge. All right, then, let's see the evidence. Here? Yeah, consider it part of the dare. Well, gentlemen, one pair of Mrs Hope's knickers. <laughs> You've got bets on me. Just a little bit on the side. Right, what can I get you? Everything all right? Yeah, I'm fine, just feeling a little underwear. <laughs> under the weather, <laughs> feeling a little under the weather. Yeah, there's, there's something going round. Yeah, we're all feeling a bit pants at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're gorgeous, Nicola. You ever so lucky? Then I sleep with, don't even call the next day. <laughs> Yeah, well, we haven't exactly slept together. Well, he still gave you flowers. Now, that is romantic. I suppose how I'm feeling now is exactly how you feel about Ashley. Oh, is it? You in love with him? No, don't be absurd. I'm talking about wanting to be with a guy, but no matter what you do, he doesn't want you. Now, don't talk like that, Nicola. It's too soon to lose hope. Oh, so I'm supposed to change the sheets and shave my legs every day, just in case Simon decides tonight's the night. Speak of the devil. Morning. Morning. Ah, oh, it's not often I get to see such a gorgeous looking woman. Stop it, Simon, it's embarrassing. Uh, settle down, I was talking about Laurel. That's a great colour on you. Oh, thanks, Simon. Oh, please, can't you tell he's teasing you? What are you doing here? I was in the area and uh, I've got something for you. Simon, you're spoiling me. You left this in my car last night. Usually I prefer it when dates leave lingerie behind, but this was a really interesting read. You read my address book? Oh, that's right. Oh, and uh, I took the liberty of crossing out a couple of undesirable names, mostly blokes who sounded like ex-boyfriends. That's understandable. No doubt you felt threatened. See you, Frosty. Bye, Laurel. Look, um, what are you doing later? Maybe we could catch a movie or go for a bite to eat. Ah, can't get enough of me, hey? Oh, sorry, but uh, I've already got plans. You know what? So do I. Sorry, I forgot. Uh, Laurel and I are having a girls' night out. Been planned for weeks. Oh, yeah, I remember, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, you should take your address book with you. You might meet someone nice. And, uh, to be perfectly honest, you really could do with adding a few more names and numbers. Especially under M. Well, I'm really sorry, but I'm gonna have to bail. Scott's left three messages for me. He's on his way over. What's a shame, isn't it? No, but I'm the best man. I should be there. I'll call him and cancel. <sighs> Don't be stupid. We're only going picking up some iron suits. Anyway, before I forget, there's the last of the money for the car. Well, you don't need it for the wedding? <sighs> Take it before I change my mind. Cheers. I mean, you've got a bet on me as well? No, that's my contribution for your next stag challenge. Yep, yeah, it's an on, and your appointment's booked till one. What appointment? At the tattoo parlour. Oh, no. No way. Why are you worried about what Katie's going to say? You see? I told you he was under the thumb. <laughs> I'm not getting a tattoo just to prove you two wrong. Yeah, don't be scared. They say you don't feel needle after the first hour. <sighs> See you in a bit. You want me to be the cook's assistant? I prefer chef. <laughs> this takes me back to when I was little. She always made me do chores. I was the only seven-year-old school kid who knew how to use a washing machine. She liked pressing the buttons. Look, if you want to stay, you've got to pay your way. And don't be too hard on Marlon. He's a sensitive lad. Um... I look forward to working with you. 
So, first up, how about you help me prepare 35 white chocolate mousses? To think I showed such promise as a child. I thought you were going into Hutton. Well, I had a better idea. Andy goes into Hutton, and I come to see you. What? <laughs> You've uh, got some paint. Oh. <laughs> Close your eyes and hold still. Robert! <laughs> well, now they match. <laughs> Your jumper's got paint on it, too. <sighs> oh! How can you have gone your entire life without separating an egg white? I've been lucky. No, no, no! Stop, stop! It's really very easy. Right. Watch. Bet your wife loved living with a cook. Chef. I'm a chef. Oh, of course you are. I was in love with a cook once. He was a pastry chef on Hideaway Sunship the Third. Then he left to join the Navy. He wanted to keep in touch, obviously, but I don't do long distance. There you go. Now, whip it up so it's light and fluffy. Be love and show us how. Must have been very hard living away from your family for so long. Mm, to be honest, that's what I liked about working the cruise ship. You could go years without seeing someone you know. I doubt that. I don't know. Maybe you've just never had the opportunity. I applied for a job on an oil rig once. Good on you. I've heard they appear small fortune. Yeah, but you only get leave once every six months. I didn't get it in the end. More than that. Couldn't stand the thought of leaving Trisha. I wish I could meet someone who loved me like that. Trisha was a lucky girl. She must have been really something. Yes, she was. Oh, what a shame. She's gone. Come on, don't go. Stay for a bit. No, I've got to get back. I'll never become a millionaire if I waste all my time with you, will I? Oh, I see. So now I'm a waste of time now, am I? Well, pretty much, yeah. Yeah, we're lucky. Roads were clear. Is everything okay with the suits? Yeah. The shop assistant took a fancy to Danny, gave him a 10% discount, and then poor Danny had to explain that men aren't exactly his type. Oh. <clears throat> Where's Rob? What do you mean? Well, his car's here. Oh, yeah, he's gone to see Jack in the top paddock. I wanted to go and see him. I'll go find him. No, no, stay with me. Come on, I need to make sure you've got everything right with the suits. Come on, let's go inside. Before you go, I want to show you something. Katie forever. I did it for you. Oh, Andy, you idiot! What's you going to do that for? Well, why not? Because! Because that is something you can't take back. Why would I want to take it back? Look, not here. Let's go inside. Come on.
I told you about the time she dislocated my shoulder. Oh, don't look so worried. She didn't mean to do it. Me and Di, we used to fight all the time. Blimey, how things change. And how much stays the same. Why aren't you helping Marlon? He said I deserved a break. Actually, he said I could either do the dishes or get out of his kitchen. What's a girl supposed to do? <laughs> <laughs> he never saw me. Eugene, I thought you left last night. I was driving along the motorway, as you suggested, and then all of a sudden I realised I cannot go home without Valerie. I'm not leaving until I see her. Paddy, mate, there's one thing you've got to understand. Some people are good at darts and others not so. The simple truth is, I'm better than you. Well, how can you say that? We've not even played each other yet. Call it a, a sixth sense. Yeah, well, anyway, today's not exactly a good example. I'm not, I'm not feeling myself. Oh, please! You've got the sniffles. Yeah, and it affects your balance. <laughs> Uh, Nicola, you're a good judge of character. Who would win at darts between me and Paddy? You're both as bad as each other. You should have called when your plans fell through. We can still make the movie. Just give me ten minutes to organise and I'll meet you back in. Well, slow down, Frosty. My plans aren't cancelled. Darts with Paddy is my plan, and I plan on winning. You'd rather spend time with my socially backward boss than go to the movies with me? Yeah. I love spending time with socially backwards people. Makes us feel so much better about myself. No offence taken. Well, speak for yourself. Oh, don't be like that. I thought you and Laurel had a girls' night planned. Yeah, we do. Well, I'd better get a move on. You know what they say. Too many men, not enough time. Sabrina, darling, come home. It's not the same without you. Eugene, you're going to have to leave. No one wants you here. And the truth is, Val's got a new boyfriend. Since when? Uh, it's kind of a recent thing. I do not believe you. Well, he's right there if you want to interrogate him. I haven't got time to argue, Eugene. You're not welcome. And I should warn you, Jack gets very jealous. Yeah, that's right. He can be a real green-eyed monster. I'll introduce you if you like. I'll just have my money, then. Val doesn't owe you anything. As far as I can see, you were stupid enough to lend her the money. Now it's up to you to deal with it. No wonder Val calls you Godzilla. I'll never forget you. Sign of a desperate man. Why don't you just go out with Nicola? See, Paddy, dating's just like a game of darts. You've got to keep your eye on the target, take your time over your shots, and that way, you're sure to win. Going out, and we have to pretend to be having a good time. Come on. Hey, Fiverr says you don't make it. <laughs> You're throwing your money away. All I have to do is ride down the hill. <laughs> yeah, well, we thought you'd say that, so we've uh, added a little something extra. <laughs> you have to ride it down the hill wearing only these. <laughs> you are joking, man. <laughs> oh, oh, shut up! Oh, shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I abandoned the dirty dishes. It's okay, they haven't gone anywhere. You're annoyed with me, aren't you? I shouldn't have been so nosy about Trisha. Sometimes I forget what other people must be going through. Please, don't you start. What? Look, even though you are the worst kitchen hand I've ever had, today's not been such a bad day. Hey, careful, you don't want to knock out the air. Thanks. Yeah, I must have heard somebody say that sometime. Another brandy, please, Bob. Something wrong, my love? It's Andy Sugden. I think he's stalking me. Well, he behaved very oddly in the cafe earlier on, and just now, he was waving at me like some lunatic. How many have you had to drink already, love? Oh, sorry I'm late. Oh, don't worry. I'll pretend I didn't notice. Since you've got a wedding to organise, eh? <laughs> I love weddings, me. Especially if they're not mine. I've arranged the music. One less thing for you and Andy to worry about. Oh, thanks, Jack. Just how much is it? We're kind of over budget as it is. My treat. Oh, Jack, you shouldn't have. You've done too much already. 
Be excited about what I did. Well, it's a good job you got the band organised. I mean, we had a DJ at man that won't play requests. So I smacked him one. <laughs> that put him straight. Do you want to have one of those couple songs? Look, um, I promise I won't puke if I'm answer. But Chaz, I need to put my coat in the back. There he is. Oh. I, what are you doing? Want to say hello? No. He's supposed to think we're having a wonderful time without him, not spying on him. Please. Is one of them for Robert by any chance? Oh, go on. I'll be legal in a couple of weeks. A couple of months more, like. Give me an apple juice, Diane. So, you finally decided to come and talk to me. Ah, Paddy's had enough. I need a new opponent. Fancy game, Laurel? Well, of course she doesn't. If I'd have known you found it such a struggle to be a normal, well adjusted person, I never would have dated you in the first place. My mistake. Bye, Laurel. Do you mind if I finish your drink? Hi, Nicola. Oh. You better go after her. Well, can't I wait until closing time? I wouldn't risk it. <laughs> well, hey, leopard skin <laughs> brings out your eyes. What did I tell you? Boy needs help. Evening all. Uh, it's not too late to change your mind, you know. <laughs> right, Dad. Um, pint, please, Dan. This one's on the house, cos I doubt you've got anywhere to keep your money. Is it me, my sweet, or do those knickers look familiar? What sort of twisted pervert steals knickers from a washing line, then wears them to the pub? It was just for a laugh. Biv, it's not the end of the world. No one got hurt, and, and I'm sure Andy's very sorry. Sorry? He's sorry? They are my favourite knickers! I wear them all the time! <laughs> Calm down, Viv, love. This isn't going to solve anything, is I it? I want them back. I want them back this instant. Right, this second? Yeah, come on, show us your pink pit. No, Andy, please spare us. I think we've all had enough for one evening. You care to explain that tattoo on your arm? I'm 18 now, Dad. That's yeah, all right. Andy's only going to date girls called Katie from now on. You're going to have to live with that for the rest of your life. Well, that's why I got it. I got a tattoo of my boyfriend's name once, Ralph. Well, if you forget that. It's quite discreet, no place where anyone's gonna see it. I can hardly see it half the time. I was pretty mad when I found out he was cheating on me, I can tell you. <coughs> oh, Andy's obviously crazy about you. Charles, I've just remembered something. What? Stop being so stubborn and listen to me for two minutes. Well, go on, then. We'll make a cup of coffee first, then we'll talk. Katie, you all right? I'm fine, really. You sure? She looked like you've been crying. Oh, it's just the wedding. Just guess I'm a little emotional. Is that all it is? Chaz, have you ever cheated on anyone? Me? It's hard enough finding one bloke, never mind two. Why? Well, it's just a friend of mine and she's too timing a fiancé. She feels terrible about it, but 
Somehow she can't stop seeing the other guy. There's nothing to worry about. Really? Oh, it's perfectly understandable. I mean, your mate. She's only ever been with one bloke, right? Mm. It's only natural. She wants to see what else is out there. You're entitled to one last fling, Katie, seeing as you're getting married in two weeks. The thing is, Chaz, I'm not sure if it's just a fling. There you go. Drink up. I I'll burn my tongue. Ah, oh, what a terrible shame. The way I see it, you're annoyed at me for playing darts with Paddy. I'm not. And you wore that little black dress to show me what I'm missing. And for your information, I happen to like this dress. And if you prefer to spend time with Paddy, well, that's your problem. <laughs> I knew you'd be the high-maintenance type as soon as I met you. I'm high-maintenance. You're the one playing all the petty games. You send me flowers one day, ignore me the next, and then you deliberately enjoy yourself in my local. <laughs> What's so funny? Well, it's no use denying it. I get under your skin. Oh, don't flatter yourself. Anyway, it's late. Hadn't you better run along home to be sure to make your early start? Have you not got an alarm clock I could use? You mean... I knew you'd cave sooner or later. That's why I shaved my legs. Glad one of us did. <laughs> Come on. I'm so confused. And it is the nicest guy I have ever met. He's thoughtful, he's generous, he's kind-hearted. And the other bloke? Well, nobody called him nice exactly. Just something about him. It's the armed robber syndrome. The what? Well, women love armed robbers. Do you have any idea how much fan mail they get when they're inside? Bad boys, you see. They're irresistible. I don't understand. When he's around, my heart beats faster. I get butterflies, Chaz, and that doesn't happen with me and Andy anymore. Don't tell me you've gone and fallen in love with him. Mm, I think so. I'm in love with him. And I love Andy. Well, I'm getting married soon. Oh, what are we gonna do with you, eh? Come here. 